Hi friends, my name is Ankur Chayan and welcome back to Tax Super channel. Today we are going to work upon on Visual Builder and we are going to create a web application in a Visual Builder. So this is the second video on VBCS and we are going to create a simple web application in Visual Builder. So in this video, we are going to execute a use case where we will create a web application. Then we will create a business object as an employees under web application, which is nothing, which is a called a table. Then we will create a page to list all the employees which will reside into the employees table. Then we will create another page to onboard new employee, which means we will create another page from which we can create a new employee. Then we are going to create another page to update the employee details. Then different page to view the employee details and a button to delete the selected employee. So if you look at this use case, this is nothing. It is just simply a crude operation which we are going to perform on the VBCS application. So let's get started and see how we can create this web application in the Visual Builder. So I just logged in into the Oracle integration cloud and jumped onto the visual builder here You will notice a new button just click on the new button to create a new application and here I will create application employee application Once you will start writing the application name the employee application ID will be auto populated But you can change it as well You can optionally describe description and here it will allow you to choose template So I will leave as it is and just click on the finish so once a application will be created you will be landed onto the page where you will see a lot of building blocks like service connection you can create a service connection you can create a mobile apps you can create a business objects you can create a web application you can download or you can just add some additional components you can integrate process as well so under one application you can create multiple web application multiple mobile application so here you will notice we have a navigator which will have all the navigation which you see on the front page like mobile application the web application the service connection the business objects components processes and source view so this this is the home page of the vbcs application so in order to create a business object just click on this business object or just click on this business object and from here just click on this plus business object and here you just need to enter the business object name like employees and simply click on the create button so this business object is nothing it is a table in a database so once this employees table will be created you will see some default default field will be populate to automatically like ID the primary key and some whose column like creation date the last updated date the created by and the last updated by now these are the fields the five field which comes with every business object now in order to create new field just click on the new field and you can try you can enter label and the field name will come and from there you can select different different types so I will use some labels the first name and then you can choose the type my type will be history and just create field and from there you can delete and then you can edit this as well in order to create another field just click on the new field and i will say last name and simply click on the create field and again i will create another one age and i will take this as a number just click on this data type and then create field and new field then i will say email and I will take this data type as an email. So just click on this create field. So in this employees object, now you see I have created four fields first name, last name, age, and email. Now I will use this business object in order to create the list of the, I will create different, different pages on which I will show the list of employees. The, I will create a new page where I will add an employee, the update, update employee page and the delete button something like this so now the employees uh, view is ready now you can see just move to the data and here you will see there is no data as of now so on this you can 
import data from file you can export the data if you have already so these are the things which you can do and you can just click on an add row in order to create a new row so now i will leave as it is and here you have again one more tab which is called endpoint and every business object when we create an business object uh endpoint uh web apis gets created automatically like get post get patch and delete so now i will create a new web application just click on this web application button and now just click web application here we need to enter the application name i will say employee web application and simply click on the create button now once you will create our web application here you will see this is called a flow so this is a flow which will be created automatically and our page will come which is called a main start a main start page will be created automatically under this flow and here you will see multiple uh, multiple folders like resources under resources you will see components images css strings and then under root pages you have cell so this is a template which will be applied for, on all the pages like you will see if this will be open now you see the header is my application and this is the this area will be replaced by flow content which means this cell is applied on to each and every page so if you wanted to change the heading or you wanted to increase the size you can increase it or if you want to go into the code just go into the code and here whatever changes you wanted to make you can do that so i will leave as it is for the time being and now just switch to the main start page now here you will see multiple navigation so this is the component pa uh, palette you can hide you can you can collapse you can expand it this is the page structure so whatever component will be there on the page the page structure will be populated automatically then you can collapse it as well now just open this page now here what i will do i'll just upload i'll just drag a table component over there so that i can populate all the employees which resides into the employees table so i'll just take this and drop here now once you will drop this here you will see a quick start menu and here you will see the add data will be enabled the add data option will allow us to add data onto that particular table so this add data option will allow us to add data from a business object from a rest api from a process whatever whatever data source you want to treat to upload data onto the table you can do that but i will use a business object the employees table to add data on that particular table so just click on the add data and here it will give you multiple options from which business object you want to populate data or from which process object you want it to populate that data so i will use business object as a employee and simply click on the next button so here it will give all the fields which resides under the employees table whatever columns you want it to show on your table you can just click on this first name you just, as soon as you click on this this will be populated here first name last name email and then age so i want four columns onto my table so i selected four and simply click on the next button and simply finish now here you will see the data will be there if there are rows will be there then you will be able to see the rows onto that particular table now if you wanted to change the header of any one of the column you can just select this and you can go data and from there you can change the column name last space name email address and just okay so this is how you can change the label as well now i wanted to create a different page to add or to onboard a new employee just select this table and then again click on this quick start and here you see this button will be enabled add create page add create page is nothing it will allow you to create a new page which will allow you to insert data 
just click on this add create again a pop up will come up which allow which will ask you to add any business object so i will again choose this employees business object click next and here it will ask you which data you want it to populate on the form with that you can insert the data so i will use first name last name email id and then age and now a button will be created on top of the table and you can change the label you can say add or you can say on board employee and here page title you can say new employee and page name will be main create and employees just click on the finish now here you will notice a page main create employee has been created and here you will see on board button has been there once you will click on this this will take us to the on board employee page here just click on this here you will see the form will be there and two button will be there one is cancel and the save you can change the text but just click on this and here you can change you can change any property what you want like required disabled read only so i leave as it is for a time being i'm just changing the label and then in order to change the caption of the button you just click on the button and then you can see back and you can say new employee or you can say only save it is okay save is fine okay now just again go to the main start page now i will add another page as add edit page so this will be your update operation so just click on edit page again it will open a pop up it will ask you which or business object you want it to use as a read endpoint then again update endpoint select the same click next which data you wanted to update i will say only first name i will say last name and i will change only age i will not take email so again you can say button label i will say update employee you can say again update employee as a page title and the page name will be main edit employee just click on the finish here again a new page will be created with page main edit and employee and here you will see the button is there so if you open this here again you can change the label or text of the uh fields first name you can say just uh, ignore this error first name okay again you can change the caption back now again i will go to the main start page and again i will create a detail page just click on the add detail page again i will select this employees next and what fields you wanted to use i'll say i wanted to see id first name i can say last name i'll say email i'll say age and i'll say what is the creation date of this employee and now you can say employee detail i will i will keep as it is and simply click on the finish you see another another button has been created now the finally you see the page is getting created automatically now i will add another action add delete action so that i can delete an employee as well just click employee and then finish now you see another button has been created now so my application is ready i have added i have added four pages one is main start page on which i am listing the listing all the employees onboard employee button which will allow me to add a new employee the update employee this button will allow me to update detail of the selected employee this will this will allow me to see the details of the particular employee this will allow me to delete and particular employee so you see the four page has been created now in order to run this application you can click on this run or if you wanted to switch into the live mode just click on this live button you see you will be able to see lee and you will not be update anything now so now if you wanted to see the code of this page just switch to this code mode and you here you see we can change the code as well directly now now just run this application now you see 
this application has been executed successfully so this table is empty because there is no data so just click on the on board employee in order to create a new employee so a new page will come up new employee and here you can say ankur jan you can say a at gmail.com you can say 25 now just simply click on the save you see the employee record successfully created so this is a default which will come automatically as soon as you will click on the save button this will go into the table and the data will be shown on this particular table now onboard new employee you can say ishika mittal you can say r.m at gmail.com you can say 29 and now again save using another employee has been created now in order to update the employee detail just select any one of the employee and here you see all the button will be enabled so update employee and you see the data will be populated and i'll say the age is 30 now just save now you see the record employee record has been updated now i will see the employee detail just click on this and click on the employee details here you see all the data will be populated like id rishika last name email when it is created now just click on the back button and here just click on this and you can delete an employee just click on this delete employee and now see the record has been deleted now if you go back to this visual builder and you go to the business object and then click on this employees table and just go to the data and here you will see a single row will be there you created two rows but you deleted one row that is the reason there is a single row into the database so this is how you can create a simple web application within a five minutes and you have added a lot of components you have added a lot of basically you have implemented the whole crude operation in a five minutes guys i hope you like the video if you like the video please like comment share and subscribe my channel you can see me over linkedin twitter facebook and you can see pinterest as well you can see my blog https colon slash tell www.taxsupper.com thank you for watching the video have a good day bye bye